Hey guys, Big T here. Um, so today I'm going to be playing a little fan project called Eden's Garden. And if you don't know, this is a fan game of a series you may have heard of called Danganronpa. I've always been a fan of the Danganronpa series. I've always thought its concept was really, really interesting, and it had, it's had some of the most interesting murder mysteries I've ever seen in any media ever. And, well, it's just great. Now, the reason I'm playing a fan game first instead of, like, an, the actual games is because I've been far spoiled in those a lot, so there's, it wouldn't really be entertaining to see me, a guy who's literally seen playthroughs of the entire games, play through those, but also, the reason I've chosen this fan game specifically is because I've heard it's gonna be really, really good, and it literally just came out today, so I've been planning to do this for a while, actually, so... <sighs> I'm actually really excited to start this. Alright, let's start this adventure of Twist Turns and Tears. New game. Logic difficulty? Let's go with normal. Action difficulty? Normal. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Alright, voice acting time. Life has no real meaning. We exist just by chance, born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give the world a purpose. People like me. Those who shine brighter than the others, who have no influence on our greater society. Sorry, who have an influence on our greater society. Ultimates. We're known as Ultimates. Ultimate titles are awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Oh, so they're including college students now. Honestly, I feel like that makes a lot more sense. In a lot of previous games, it just doesn't feel like the characters are high school students. They feel a lot more mature and older. But, yeah. Interesting that they're including college students this time. Doctors who can cure incredible... Oh. <laughs> I can't read. Doctors who can cure the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential pol politicians. The most creative architects. Those are the people who deserve lifelong recognition, who define what it means to be a true ultimate. I, Damon Maitsu, am the ultimate debater. A prodigy among prodigies, someone who simply can't be outmatched. I hold on to my title dearly, because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. Among a sea of mediocrity, I am a shining example of talent. And now, there's a school worthy of me. Well, alright. <laughs> Interesting introduction to this character. I can already tell that this protagonist is probably going to be a lot more flawed in the way of his ego, probably. But, we'll just have to see. This is not that big of There's nothing wrong with having an e ego that much. It's interesting to see a character with actual, like, personality and not just a character that you can put your... If I'm being honest, I've always thought that characters who sole purpose to... That... Let me restart. I've always... <laughs> to be honest, I've always thought that, uh, protagonists whose so sole purpose is that you, as the player, can just put your personality onto are kind of overrated, like, stories are usually meant to have like a meaning or a purpose, 
and that's usually defined to specific character flaws, and not everyone who plays the game is going to have that same character flaw. So it's really hard to send a message with a blank character. Not impossible, but I definitely prefer characters who aren't just like soul mirrors of you as the player. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. To Mr. Da Damon Mitsu. Ma I, sh I should have read how he pronounced. Should have listened to how he pronounced his name because I can't pronounce it at all. To Mr. Damon Mitsu, the ultimate debater. Congratulations for your contributions as the ultimate. We can. <laughs> Sorry. We cord. We quarterly invite you to attend Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized college for academic, academic-based talents. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp on your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who receive this invitation will gain an even an, an ever important pro proficiency as leadership, communication, and pers persuasion. I cannot read. This is just school all over again when you're told to read out loud. Oh boy. In an age where anyone can be called ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. Please keep the contents of this invitation as well as the attached recognition material strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is to build the foundation of privacy. Ooh, pretty. Ethan's Garden Academy, an ultimate academy for true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government intuition that was awarded ultimates titles to people for almost the last century. If you don't apply for the UTP school, they scout for their... You don't apply to the UTP school, they scout for their students. Which is how I found myself receiving a letter from Ethan's Garden Academy. It looks to be amazing. It looks to be an amazing school. Immaculate, archi immaculate architecture, incredible workspaces, and access to resources beyond anything I have ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called ultimate. In my 18th years of, in my 18 years of living, <laughs> interesting way of phrasing it, I have accomplished more than most people could ever dream of. Within this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was t destined to be great. After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't a nice looking. Sorry. It wasn't as nice looking as I expected, at least. Well, it wasn't as nice looking as I expected, at least, not for a school of this caliber, but it was undeniably the one luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This is the start of my new life, the start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I'd finally be among the people as great as me. Huh? Look! Someone else is here! Sorry, I need to turn the voices up. Huh? Someone else? Hey, hey! Welcome to the Eden's Club! Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? In front of me, spread out across the train carriage, sorry, was a group of strange looking people. A girl with pink hair, some guy in, wolf, in a wolf costume. One guy in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. Who was it? Oh, I see him. He's all the way in the back there. What the huh? Are these creepy people really attending the same academy as me? Oh, I see. Are they not fitting your expectations? Oh, I guess they're not fitting my expectations because I'm the main character. I'm gonna move on. This is not good commentary. After. Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from its halt. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! 
All right, here we go. Over here. Hello. All right, what voice do we give this guy? Uh, it's. Is it, um. What now? Oh, no. I this dialogue. Crap. Oh well, we'll just roll with it. What do you want? What if? Cool. So, uh, I was wondering something. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask me. Ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Uh, uh, oh, um, sure. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Oh, we made him sad. Good, <laughs> good job, Damon. You're making en enemies immediately. That's very, that's a very smart move in a death game. Howdy. Excuse me, but don't you? Excuse me, but don't you happen to know when the final stop is, dude? Yeah. The girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez. Can people just... Can people just leave me alone for five minutes? No. Not a clue, but you can try looking for... The words got caught in my throat when I turned to look at her. This woman had to be twice my size. Hmm? Hmm? Is something wrong? Uh, I, I... Alright, this is probably the first time I'm actually trying to do voice acting. And I'm sorry if the voices I choose don't fit the characters very well, but my voice doesn't really have many places it can go. It's kind of stuck like this. So I will try my best. Don't expect that much from me. <laughs> <laughs> don't fret it, darling. I'll just see who else is around. With a small wave, she walked away. The people here just keep getting weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class. Nothing waiting to be bothered any f Not waiting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself a seat by the window. I really like this art. You can see if you look closely all the fuzziness to it. It's not like straight borderlines and I really like that style. In fact, when I try drawing art, as amateur as I am, that's usually the style I go for. I try not having as many, like, bold lines, and st try to, like, make it more this fuzzy-looking stuff. It's really nice. The situation has nothing... The situation was nothing like I expected, but at least the view from the train was nice. The mountains framed by the deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkled like jewels of sunlight. It couldn't be more radical departure from home. Scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. The chatter from the others of the train eventually sopped and leaving just me and the rolling mountains. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Nearby, a woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air and started sniffing. <laughs> After a moment, the expression on her face turned stone cold serious. Something is wrong. The air doesn't smell right. Oi! Huh? The air? Whack! Hey, I smell something too. Excuse me. Would you describe it? Hmm. Hmm, kinda chemically. It's almost like it's coming from. What about? That bag over there. She pointed to a travel bag at the opposite end of the car. Well, shoot! No, oh, shoot. You mean this one right next to me? Let me think. I don't smell anything funky. Well, that's probably because of the helmet. Pardon me. Is that your bag? Not a chance! Nope. It was already here when I got on the train. Weird. Hmm, that's weird. There's no name tag or anything. After inspecting the outside of the bag, the, he began fiddling with the lock. Cool, you got it open. Uh, oh, that wasn't the lock. Huh? Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm all good. I just feel kind of Z, and then he died. Christ First almighty. victim. Guys, who do you think the killer is? <laughs> we didn't even get to. <laughs> Didn't even get to know this guy's name. He's already dead. Oh no. Uh, uh, I think it's that. 
I think it's the lawyer guy right there. He, he seems suspicious. Shit. Did, did he just pass out? No, he, well, you look... You look like you here. What's happening? I'm the same in the car, the guy who had been staring at me earlier. I'm not feeling so good either. Hang on. What did you say? Good night. First chapter, there's a double murder already? Man, we're, we're killing off characters fast. What the? Nah, people are dropping like flies. Holy! Oh crap, someone can help. For real? Let me try to alert the conductor or whatever. She ran over to the door of the connected and adjusted car. Rattle, rattle. Oh crud. It's not opening. Why isn't it opening? Stand back. <clears throat> I want to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a sec? <laughs> so bad. I'm sorry. He yanked at the door. Wait, no. He yanked at the door, but. It'll rattle. Bad news. The car is locked up as tight as a prison. How would you know? Well. Come off the grass! Huh. But I left the tech. Huh? But I left the tank like an hour ago. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna... Uh, start taking some drink. Ugh. Let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all his money. <clears throat> he groaned and stepped back, feeling that he hadn't even left it that mark on the door. What? That did nothing? <laughs> ah, there's no boy. There's another boy who's fallen. A girl too. <laughs> Why is everyone passing out? Damn it. Maybe it got something to do with that bag. We... Huh? The air around me had grown thick, with a strange, pugnant smell. I could taste it. Feel my sting in my eyes. No, don't. As the futile plea left my lips, I felt no my strength trail away from me. The world flickered around me, and then... There was nothing. Vows woven by stitches and needles. That's my imitation of a buzzing noise. Huh? What is that humming noise? It sounded almost like an air conditioner. But if it's an air con, why am I so warm? I weakly opened my eyes. I can't not be English, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said wise. Above me was a concrete ceiling. A concrete ceiling? My body's so heavy, but I had to get on my feet. I had to see where I was. <laughs> By discovery immediately. Yeah, there, there's another dead person. Huh? <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl! Could, could it be that she's... No, she's still breathing. Alright, so no, no dead body this time. So she's asleep, just like I was. Kneeling down to her level, I reached out my hand to shake her. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Bringing my face closer to hers, I, per I repeated the question. Hey, can you hear me? Why isn't she waking up? I actually ah! had to. Ah! Her eyes snapped open, causing me to jump back. Hello. <laughs> I, oh, I was just testing you. Huh? T testing me? Hmm. To see what you would do. It's not every day you find a body on the floor. Oh, ho, ho. Trust me, it will be. 
That... So, you were awake the whole time? Correct. I woke up before you, yes. And she just let me sleep. Uh, anyways... How long was I out Not for? sure. I don't know. I didn't want to wake... I didn't wake you up. I don't know. I... Okay, let me... Let me, let me slow down and start over. I don't know. I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also start startled to see a stranger. You see? One can never know if they're in the presence of a friend or foe. Hmm. Which is why I needed to see for myself how much I could trust you. By lying on the floor and making herself vulnerable? She makes no sense. As an excuse to break off the conversation, I started to look around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler, boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from the vent set far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I, s I was starting. I was, star I was standing on a platform with stairs that led down to the rest of the room. I swear I cannot read. The lower floor was mildly flooded. I'd say the water reached a little above my ankle. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. <laughs> even with that strange, even with all the strange things around me, my gaze kept returning to this girl. Well, there ain't much to look else to look at. There's something about her that seemed almost familiar. Wait, that's it. She was on the train I boarded. Hey, we've met before. Mm. On that train? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said it for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Things turned upside down not long after you arrived. Strange smells started to come from the travel bag, and then everything turned black. Right. Right. Just what? Just what in the hoo-ha was... Just what in the H-E double hockey sticks was that? Listen to me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with gas bomb or something. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. Sounds like she's been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why it took her so long to wake me up. I see. Sure, I was thinking the same. But whose bag was it? Why did they want to knock us out? And why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. Considering our surroundings, some sort of boiler room? As she raised a hand to push up her glasses, something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. Huh. Man, she got a Fitbit. It looked vaguely like a watch. Eh? Huh? Hey, what's that on your hand? Well? You tell me. It appears you have one as well. Huh? Oh boy. Looks like this is going to be the fabled, if you don't do as we say, you will die because so-and-so is strapped to you. Stuff. At those words, I looked down at my wrist. What the? What the? Sure enough, I was wearing the same device. I'd been fitting tight. It... <sighs> It'd been fit tightly around my wrist. But I felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Damn it! Hey, I'm not wearing this. I grabbed a hold of the device and pulled. A tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. Oof. I have been shocked before. <sighs> How humiliating. Sorry, I should have warned you. If you try taking it off, it shocks you. Thanks for the heads up. What's going on here? Why am I wearing this weird shot collar thing? Who put this on me? Look. You can touch the screen, though. Eh? See? Like this. She tapped on the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Hmm. Oh, so like a watch. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's just projecting a blank screen for some reason. So... Either way, it seems we're stuck with the device for the time being. Moving on. While you're standing there... The least you can do is give me your name. 
We didn't have much of the meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> Damon, mm, I still can't know how to pronounce that. Meitsu? Damon Meitsu, the ultimate debater. I'm a student of Eden's Garden. Interesting. Hmm. How interesting. Eh? What is? Mm. Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. It's nice to meet Oh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sure it is. The pain from the shock was finally subduing. It's as good as a time as any to get a better grasp of this room. Maybe there's something in here that I can explain the flooding, or even better, that annoying mechanical noise. Welcome to Project Eden Garden. Hey, it's the introduction. Please don't tell me the demo's ended already. I will be sad. A lot has happened already, and I'm sure you're eager to investigate. But there are some things you should get acquainted with first. To ask, access the trinket, or as Damon so call... Call... What's... I... Colo... Quin... Quilly... Put... I don't know how to pronounce that word. I don't know. The doohick, or as Damon so doohickily called it, put it, the watch, simply press the F1 key. To view past dialogue, press the F F2 key. And to access observation mode, press enter key. Press the enter key again to exit this mode. And... Oh, and use the WASD keys to pan around the room. If you ever need to revisit the information, check out the control panel. It's just F3 key anyway. That's all for now. Go forth and explore. Oh boy. Oh, we're actually moving. I'm not just reading dialogue anymore. Alright, let's talk. Eva, Eva Tatsune. Tatsuka. Eva Tatsuwaka. Or something. Hello. Along those lines. What is it? <coughs> Nothing. No. Oh, good talk. Good talk. Okay. Uh, it seems we are being watched. As usual. Nothing's new there. Eh? Mm. Staring at me from the corner of the room was a, an expensive looking security camera. Has this been recently installed? It seems better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. Interesting. You noticed that camera too? Yeah. Yeah, it's really out of place. Do you think someone is watching us through it? It doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt hmm. it. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. Eh? What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put the, these wrist straps on us. She makes a decent point. Boxes. We need to notice the boxes. There might be something useful in a pile of dusty boxes. Doubt it. Hmm, light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Hey, you can do a bunch of stuff with duct tape. Nope, there's nothing here but junk. Uh, electrical shock box. There's a generator under the vent. Is this what's making the mechanical noise? Seeing it in the water put me a bit on edge. I was thinking of checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. That seemed to be it. The room's too run down for me to investigate anything else. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Eva approach the pile of boxes and fish out light a light bulb. Then, without hesitation, plop. She chucked it into the water. Huh? What are you doing? Mm. Mm. All of a sudden, she jumped off the platform and we were standing on and we were standing on and into the water. I think what happened is she threw the light bulb in, see if it would turn on because of the electricity in the water. And it didn't, so that it's safe. That's what I'm predicting right the now. The hell? Seriously, what what the H-E double hockey sticks are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. 
Wait. Is she... exploring? Well, I've heard that somewhere before. Is this... Eva's not her real name. I think her real name is Dora. You're not worried about the generator? Gosh. Look, the light bulb I threw into the, no the water. Notice that it isn't flashing? Exactly! See, I predicted it. Ha, 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 ha. This is only the first of many predictions I will make right. In this playthrough. <laughs> That means the water isn't conductive. Yeah, conductive. <laughs> the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. I guess she's not worried about getting her shoes wet either. <coughs> okay, just give me a second. Took off my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. Fair enough. Trying to hide my discomfort behind a cool face, I descended the stairs into the murky water. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded like it was coming from the direction of the vent. I see. Yep, definitely must be the generator. Damn. Lucky the water isn't conductive. Those exposed wires would be bad news otherwise. Interesting. For such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. It's surprising how this noise alone wasn't enough to wake us up. <laughs> it's because you were drugged. Whatever. Whatever knocked us out. Whatever knocked us out of the train must have been pretty strong. Anyway, that explains the wiring noise. The wearing noise, sorry. Not the no wiring noise. What, what noise does the wire make? I wonder where all the power is going to. High up on the wall was a vent. What could be on the other side? Do you want to look through that? Sorry. Do you want to look through that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Listen to me. All right, I have an idea, but it will take some physical effort. Eh? Ah, I'm out. Count me out. No, nope. I'm too lazy for that. I had to literally force myself to press the record button today. Like what? Well. Like getting on my shoulders. Seriously? I'm not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it'll give you a boost and you can look through the window. Fair. Fair. Fair, but it shouldn't be... Sh but I shouldn't be... But should... I can do this. They're just words. I have read before. I can do this. Fair, but shouldn't I be the one giving you a boost? Mm. Mm, I don't think you could handle it. Saying that, she's... Alright, so far. Impressions of the characters. Like how the protagonist isn't just the goody-two-shoes normal guy, but he actually seems to have some flaws with his ego and stuff, so that's nice. I... Yeah. Uh, so far, I mean, I have no reason not to like this girl. Need to get to know her better before I have a really good opinion on her. Saying that, she's she stooped in front of the generator and mentioned and motioned for me to come over. I'm talking. Make sure you tuck your feet behind your back. I waddled over to Eva and awkwardly positioned myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? I'm fine. Just look through the window already. All right. I see a door and chairs. Yeah, another vent and a room just beyond it. I can't see what's inside the room, though. Both vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there was hinges bolted up to the upper corners. Does this mean that the vent can be opened? Wrapping my fingers around the grate of the grid in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open. Can you see better now? Although the second vent is still obscure, obstruct, 
destructed a lot of the room, I was able to make out the legs of a table and chairs. They are pretty fancy looking. It's the floor of the same fancy room. We must be in the building with multiple levels. Weird that this vent opens into another room instead of the outside. Eh? Just beyond the chairs in the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. <gasps> a dead body! Oh no! Someone got murdered already! A person's legs? I felt the chest t my chest tighten. Is he also passed out? Uh, hello, can you hear me? No response. Darn. There's gotta be a way inside this room. Eva, can you let me down? Uh? There's someone in there? Uh, I, I... I think it's a guy. He's laying on the floor and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. I'm guessing, right now, that it's that lawyer guy. Because, uh, he was the only one that I noticed was wearing all black clothing. And that looks like suit and fancy pants. So, I'm guessing it, it's him. That is my second predic prediction of this game. Let's see if we get it right. He might know something we don't. If we're not he <laughs> What was that music cue for? I just got jump scared in the dialogue. He might know something we don't. If, if we're not there, when he wakes up, we might lose so... him. The room's on the level above ours, you said. Right, which means th there must be stairs somewhere. Focus. I have to find them. To leave the area, press R key. I'll confirm the choice with you. Wait. I'll confirm the choice with you, just in case you get any second thoughts. I already forgot what it said to do. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. As I was out of the water, I threw my socks and shoes and ran. I threw all my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally derelict hallway. The walls on the floor were an old mat matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, or no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, there was a corridor. The corridor took a sharp turn. Was what looked to be sunlight hitting the wall. Does that mean there's an exit right around the Hang corner? On. Don't go running off without one. Huh? huh? Mm. I've already inspected the rooms in the hallway, so you can just ignore huh? them. But did you do that? You see. While you were asleep. You were waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Hang on, your best efforts? So... Poking you in the face, dragging you by the feet, I even bridal carried you at one point. Oh, alright. Not sure I can believe that. Listen to me. Well, she did just carry you on her back, so. Anyway, I haven't checked it's upstairs. I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. Come again? You didn't think to get help? No. You were obviously breathing. Really? That doesn't answer the question. You only started to wake up after I returned from my search. Oh, sorry, that was her talking. Wrong voice. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless she didn't want to leave me her here alone? I can't figure her out at all. Moving on. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets completely de 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 dilapidated. Filled with random stuff. Alright. Though that was words I tried to speak and failed.
that was the case for every room. It's the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. Nah, I'm good. As my great-grandmother's brother's friend, motivational calendar once said, Ah, oh, we're going in deep. You can't progress if you don't have the will to move. Please use the WASD keys to walk, since you're in a hurry. Hold down, shift to sprint. <laughs> Look at a calendar that says that exact thing. Last but not least, proceed with caution. You never know what could be hiding around the corner. Is it a dead body? It's the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. No, you're just repeating dialogue. Did you do that? Caution. Storage closet, let's see. How'd you get here so fast? The room was almost identical to what Eva had described earlier. There was no real organization or meaning to anything. It was just filled with completely random hoo-ha. I guess I can say crap. What did I tell you? I see. It's different. It's definitely a messy place. Yes, that's right. Let's move on now. I should probably listen to her. There was no reasoning for there was no reason for me to look inside this room. Especially when we might have found help. Stains covered some parts of the walls and ceilings. I could only guess a pipe had broken and started leaking. This looks like the back rooms. Imagine Dang and Rampa in the back rooms. I mean, I've already seen Cherry and Grape Tower. That was a really interesting place to have a murder mystery. Back rooms doesn't seem like a very far stretch. Ah. So. The room, the room with the unconscious man should be above the adjacent to that boiler room. That means it must be on the other side of the hallway, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Given we walked away from the boiler room to get here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's investigate. So. Guessing right here. This, this is definitely not the right way. Alright, thanks, game. That guy from Cave Story? It's locked, so not that one. Is it, is it this door? Am I, am I just not smart? Oh, it was this one. There must be. Uh, no. This is definitely not the way to go. It's too close to the stairs. Right. Right. Now I'm getting a ton of things wrong already. That's great to know. These are definitely dorms. That's my third prediction. What is this? Whatever bird mask is supposed to resemble, it's freaky looking one. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Bird mask line. This must be the room. Okay then. Taking a deep breath, taking a deep breath, I pushed open the large door. Well, this is a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Okay, the vent should probably be... Oi! 
Huh? Huh? Before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly into the side of my head. <laughs> Alright, making enemies already. Nice. Who the AT double hockey sticks are you? What the Who the HD double hockey sticks are you? Damn it. Crap. Why did I just why did you just hit me? I'm not gonna be in I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with an op with open with open arms. You could have been a murderer. You can't be a murderer. What are you? the protagonist? Don't worry about V3. I never had. So your instinct is just to attack everything you see? <laughs> hey, I've already spread one guy in a spared one guy in a suit. I'm not letting my god down a second time. Huh? Guy in a suit. <laughs> Crap, it's Phoenix, right? Eh? Eh? Hello. Hello. This guy. The outfit he's wearing. So. We've met before, have you? Curious. What was about? What was about? Let me. Let me try. What was about to say? I can't see your faces on the train. I'm sure the two of you are standing next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all. We were formerly... We only formerly met a few minutes ago. Oh. Uh, anyways. Well, you were still knocked out by the sleeping gas stuff, right? Soybean! Don't remind me, soybean. <laughs> okay. Come again. Interesting, interesting insult. What? Uh. Yeah, that's right. I said it. You are so mean. Just like this loser next to me. I disagree. I am indeed not a so mean. We should focus on what's happening on the train. <laughs> I don't know what the... I don't know what happened, but... One second I was on the train, the next I surrounded by total darkness. <laughs> this place was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. See that? See that pantry over there? Yeah. Turns out the door was unlocked. Jeez. You were inside that pantry? <laughs> when she kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. What the double H E? What are you doing? Well, she was in there. Uh huh. Waking up. Waking up. Uh, isn't it unfair? I got stuffed into some tiny pantry while this guy had the entire floor to himself? <laughs> Who's ever responsible for this must have been jealous of my talent. You won't believe how many jealous people turn violent in the in, in huh? this industry. Endurance? Hey? Endurance? Why can I not say industry? With the dumb, what's with the dumb face? You know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? <laughs> cultured bull. My name's Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. Don't forget it, soybean. Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. Sweet. I see. Ultimate golfer, of course. Since the two of you are on that train, that means you are an ultimate as well. <coughs> what about you? Hmm? Hmm. Can you tell? Can you tell me your ultimate talent? I'm Wolfgang Akere, the ultimate lawyer. Here's my card. Dude, what? His name's Wolfgang. I cannot pronounce any of these people's last names. What is wrong with me? A lawyer is way better than being a golfer, but um, he's already choosing favorite talents. For such a young-looking guy, I didn't expect him to have a talent like that. His age must be part of what makes him an old. Pardon man. me. You look confused. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not confused. I just, I look too young. Is that? I look too young. Is that what you're saying? I understand. 
I get it a lot. Even Miss Madison said Whatever you say. Cause it's true. Hold on. Well, don't you think it is same to be said for yourself? I'm not wise in the way of sports, but I've always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that young man should take dreams. The sport probably in need of revival. <laughs> Tough industry, but that's cause we gotta fight for recognition, not sit around for seven years and do. <laughs> Sounds like the average high schooler. Now that I think about it, hey, how old are were you when you stopped at college? No, thank you. That's personal information. I don't intend to include <laughs> disclose, sorry. Your piece of work I do. What happened to talking about the what happened to talking about the train? These guys seriously have their priorities screwed. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> dot dot dot. So... So... You have them too? Huh? Huh? Look. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. Really? You were busy talking, so I figured I wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. Straps you say? <laughs> These hoo hollers are more like mini shot collars. By the way, those aren't mutually exclusive. I heard you the first well. time. So you tried taking it off, did you? Yes. Yup, Sam with you. <sighs> Actually, it was me who tried taking it off and the stupid thing is that when you did. Let's see. I suspected it wasn't unique to me. Miss Madison, though I hadn't tried removing the strap myself. Strange. Equipping everyone with a strap that shocks them? What could justify doing something like this? Well, what's the purpose behind these straps? Soybean! Are you... Are you... Are you... Dumb? It's to shock us. The thing is, when we seem to receive a shock, if we try to remove it... How can this be? So, why aren't we allowed to remove these straps? <laughs> what I want to know is, who even put these things on us? Hmm. The answers to those questions might be something we have to figure out ourselves. It doesn't make sense. For me to be abducted and then taken somewhere, I by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. It doesn't make any sense. What is happening? Hello. Hello there. Hello? Are you talking to me? No. No. Look behind you. Huh? Confused, I turned around to see what captured everyone's attention. For a second, I thought I was seeing things. Peeking at us from the corridor was a small girl. Who are you? Is that a... What the? Is that a... Is that a flapping gremlin? Miss Madison! Miss... Miss Madison! You scare her if you shout like that! The girl had left her position by the corridor and slid into the room. How could I see for certain what she had that she was a kid? What the f why is there why is there a kid here? For your information. For your for your information, I mean you're not a kid. Did your mother never teach you to use this range of back on strangers you had met? <laughs> no way, the running can talk. <laughs> I told you I'm not a If we must make comparisons, I'd rather be like, like it into something more elegant. Mm. For example, a cat. Really? That's not much better. Be careful. Please be careful. You say what you said about this girl seems to be Can't you see? She doesn't seem young. She is young. Around. Hmm. You know now that I'm 
know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I was also siding with the train. You were hidden. You were hidden beside. Beside. You were. <laughs> you were hidden behind some other people, so you weren't. Per so you were pretty hard to see. I assumed you were sitting down or something. It didn't even cross my mind that you might have been an actual kid. <laughs> cowering, up, cowering behind a bunch of strangers, huh? Figures I didn't see it. Still, what the heck was it even doing on that train? That's what I'm wondering. The kids got no business with people like us. We're amazing and fantastic. And nobody even comes close to our levels of amazingness. I do not appreciate your misguided, misguided comments about my age. I'm a professional, just like the rest of you. No. You're an ultimate? Why do you say no like it was hard for him to accept? No! You're an ultimate? It can't be! Is that really true? I didn't think Joda could qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate! Must I keep, must I keep repeating myself? I'm not a child, I'm a professional! Jeez. Well, what is it that you're good at? <sighs> hmm, so you desire to know my talent, do you? Normally I decline for the conversation with the new people like you, but given our circumstances, I shall sing you and me. <laughs> I can't read these words. My small brain cannot read these large words I've never heard in my life before. Hello. <laughs> I choose to play a game with so much reading involved. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be one of the victims because the words are gonna kill me. I'm just gonna like try to pronounce a word one day, and I'm just not gonna be able to, and I will be dead. But given our circumstances, I shall send Greeny. <laughs> no matter. Toshiko Kaira, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you, I suppose. That a uh, matchmaker? Aren't you a bit young for something like that? Hmm. Get a grip! The Gremlin's obviously lying about having a talent. I bet it snuck its way onto the train because it saw the commotion. <laughs> now the little... Uh, is stuck with us. Look at what you've done. You're just walking into your room, constantly being insulted by every bloody sport except the train. Constantly, forever. Now look what you've done. Made her, her upset. Upset? Of course not. I know better than to take a breath seriously. Boy! Boy, I can thank you for just use my own insult against me. Miss Madison. Grace. <laughs> what? Moving on. So if you have the things right, all five of us were on the train. What about the other people who boarded it? Do you think they've been kidnapped as well? Indeed. Correct. Mm -hmm. Apart from us, there are 11 other people. Counting us, that makes 16. Correct. That's the same number of people who are on the train. Quite. I've become well acquainted with them. Healthy. The only person I've been avoiding is the frustrating boy I woke up with. You wouldn't believe his manners. And she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern. Mm. As does everyone else. Hmm. I suppose. It's interesting to see the more younger character being somewhat confident and actually like noticing things. Usually they're just off being childish. Speaking of, would you like me to 
Would you like to meet the others? I think they should know about you very well. That would be helpful, yes. Wonderful! Very well, I shall serve as your guide as they embark on this new journey. Take this seriously. Don't sound so happy about this. <laughs> we're in... We've been, been kidnapped. This is an orientation. Yeah, I mean, look. In life, you can find yourself in all sorts of situations without any way of avoiding them. Sometimes it's not your fault, and sometimes it's not the way you have to get to get out of them. So the best thing you can do is just try to be as happy as you can be in any situation, no matter what. As well, treat it with the best happiness. Uh, I cannot words. Just saying, if you were living your last few days and you knew it, would you want it to be all sad, or would you want to live the best you possibly can and be as happy as you can and make us others as happy as you can? Then again, it's not like I would go to most orientations willingly. <laughs> Maybe those two events aren't that different at all. I uh, yes, they knew that a bunch of people would skip out, so they'd kidnap you and, like, drug you. Well? Where are the others right now? Obviously, they're outside this- Obviously, they're outside this building. <laughs> she just faded out of existence and laughed! <laughs> that was very quick. Up in the air, and then she go. There's an exit not too far from here. Follow me. It's for the best. Huh, I am too. She seems to know more than us. Wouldn't hurt to entertain her. <laughs> How do they fade out so quickly? There's like not even a second to wait. It's just you see the first second and they're gone. Okay, let's see what this thing has up its sleeves. Outside this building. So there's even more to this place than we've already seen. Are there other buildings just like this one? Exactly how big of an area are we exploring? Standing here, I realize you are just like me, try to make history. I'm sorry, I'll never see you again. Standing here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. This is the first tech, so I guess it will be safe to try as much dialogue as possible. Talk about stuff with nightmares, is this supposed to be a hyena? The ears are really big though, maybe it's a wild dog. Whatever, I'm wasting my time here. I don't have that much time left probably, this is just chapter zero. I want to spend as much of it being, doing this stuff as much as possible. Forget about the mask. What's that weasel-looking thing? This painting was one I recognized. I'm pretty sure my high school team had to research for a debate. Whatever, we're trying to, to argue. Whatever we're trying to argue, I scrubbed it from memory. Needed to make room for the next debate somehow. One thing's for sure, this woman in the painting didn't wear a mask. Which is pouring this It definitely wasn't blood. Menu! Oh, can't we can't the menu yet. Kitchen! Like the rest of the room, the kitchen was really nice. It was clean, fully equipped with utensils, and the cupboards were stocked with all kinds of food. The question is, who is the kit is this kitchen even for? Can't be for us, can it? No, but the knives probably are. I'm actually gonna like try and force myself to get like attached to all these characters. It's just because it's a dang and Rafa game. I don't wanna just like not care about the characters because then it doesn't feel impactful when they die. This is where this is nah. 
need to add like a counter or some on the screen for how many times I can't read. This is where the loud golfer girl, Grace, woke up. It would have been funnier if she shut if she should What? It would have been funnier if she was shoved in the refrigerator instead? What is wrong with Damien? not like, we haven't even seen all the characters yet, and Damien is the most suspic suspicious person of being a murderer yet. Sopa. It was a comfy looking sofa. If I sit down, I might not be able to get back up. Better refrain for now. Yeah, honestly, I feel that. When you relax, you never want to not... Is that the vent? It is! Through the gap in the vent, I saw the boiler room I woke up in. If, it, if I listen closely, I can even hear the weird of the generator. Hmm, that might not be why this is, they installed the vent there. Here. Bleh, bleh. They didn't want too much moisture forming on the generator. This door right here. It's this door right here. It's downstairs. Uh, this door? This is not it. Uh, a laundry mat? What's a laundry mat doing here? Apart from how weathered it was, it didn't match the hallway at all. Could it be inside some kind of hotel? Maybe it fell to ruin because it didn't know how to spend its budget? Because it didn't know how to what? Who are you referring to by it? I'm confused. I get confused easily. This game is not good for me. Now the room itself looks shabby, the old and old, these machines were quite modern. It's like the room I woke up in, having that generator. Why are the bits of the modern technology scattered throughout the otherwise abandoned building? Oh crap, it just, it just says the same thing. Uh, what about these? It's gonna say the same thing about these. Yep. Watches do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Like nineteen different washers. In the process. Venus Wright is tall. Miss Curia. I still cannot pronounce these people's last names. Kayuria. Kayura. Kayura. Miss Kayura seems well acquainted with the layout of this building. We should follow her directions for now. Soybean! About time you arrive, Soybean. Ugh. Not call me that. Sorry, I was exploring the laundry mat. Hello. Hello. Toshiko. Toshiko isn't happy you fell behind. Please. I thought you guys would be without. Get to the point. You can save the excuse for uh, Toshiko. I don't really care. Okay. I used the wrong voice again. My bad. 
Oof, that's gonna happen a lot. Help! You're late! Eh? You're waiting? I'm not used to people waiting on me. Usually people don't care because I my ego is too big. It's probably kinda deserved. Oi! Only because the gremlin insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until she said Unfortunately. something. Unfortunately. I'm ashamed to say the same. Well? Why the... By the way, what are the others doing right now? Hmm. Exploring... Oh, <laughs> Wrong one. Exploring something else, probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Healthy. Haha, <laughs> relatable. They had to nerd to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area? Hmm. They don't want me exploring, and I suppose I'll explore by myself. Alright, sounds like you, she just wanted to show off. Oh, you're talking! Are you done yet? Who cares about that? The guy's here now, let's go already. Yes, and then the others will realize their foolishness. Wonderful! Onwards to the great outdoors! The little girl turned her face the turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for a lock I hadn't even noticed before. Click. The door opened with a long shrill creak, and we finally saw what was waiting outside. People! Time for the more a, a lot of introductions. Oh okay, I see one guy out all, all, all the way in the back there. Standing before us, bathed in sunlight, was a massive reminisc Romanesque reminisc courtyard. <laughs> Romanesque, I think it's what it's pronounced, I don't know. Finally, some sunlight. Damn. This courtyard, I wonder if we can escape by going over the hedges. The hedges are tall, but if we try looking for a Hold room, on. I, I doubt it's that easy. The devices we're wearing will probably shock us. <laughs> Let's see if you're right. Soybean! Go on, Soybean. Climb Stop. the hedge. What the... No. Unfortunately, it's pointless climb hedges. How do you know? Because she tried. If you take a closer look at the sky, you should understand. Eh? The sky? Are we in a giant dome? Yes. Do you see anything strange? Anything strange? Alright, let's see. Hmm... There's a sun. Rainbow circling it. Uh, the clouds are close. No, there's nothing standing out to... Wait, huh? As my eyes tried to adjust the glare of the sun, I noticed it. The shape of the clouds weren't normal at all. No, it's almost as if they were... Could it be we're looking at a hologram? Come on! Of, of this size, no way! That's gotta be a 360 projection or something. Th that's... You mean, the skies we're looking at is actually a view? It sounded completely ridiculous when it said out loud, but at the same time, it made too much sense. If this is a 360 projection, wouldn't that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Hmm. Sorry, I forgot to use the voice. Such the truth as long such is a truth I have long recognized. Come off That's... the grass! Wait, you knew the sky was fake? Why'd you call this dump yard the great outdoors? It was a it was for dramatic effect. In truth, I haven't seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. Cost for concern. Uh, no sunlight. I really didn't see the windows in this building. No. No? Not at all. <gasps> no, no windows means no oxygen! We might suffocate as we speak! <laughs> We've survived this long. I think we'll be okay. Hey. You're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? It's a dome with a fake sky? That's like something out of a movie. So... Maybe whoever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside in the, uh, 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 words, 
can lie you of actually letting us outside? Mm. Sure, if you want to make broad assumptions. You see? In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Fair. Yeah, I was about to say. I guess, until you actually find some concrete evidence about some stuff. However, be careful with your assumptions. Whether or not it's sky... Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. Ah, oh, it's that girl again. Huh? Above the inane chatter, I heard a quite high-pitched noise, sort of like a mouse squeak. It was so unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. Hey, can you guys stop talking for a second? Hmm? Hmm? Is that a problem? Yeah. Do you hear that? Hey. Hear what? An almost like whimpering. <laughs> oh, somebody's crying. Strike me pink. Wait, I just Oi, heard it. you. Oi. Who the ha is crying? Quit hiding and come talk mm. to us. Do ignore the shrew. Do ignore her. Her bark is worse than her bite. Who are you calling a, a word? I don't know if it's a bad word or not, so I'm not going to say it. The crying, the crying seemed to have stopped, but whoever it was refused to come mm. out. Can we just leave them be? If they don't want to help, it's not our issue. Goodness! Don't be so heartless. This could be someone we in need. Alright, I like this character. So far, Wolfgang is one of my more favorite characters. He seems to be one of the nicer ones. And I like nice people. Be careful. Uh, to the girl that is crying, please excuse my friend here. None of us are here, are, are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out. Hiding will only make... You, more you think? Do you really think that's going to convince them? Yes. Called it. Eh? Eh? Uh, um. Um. Hello. I um. I wasn't. Um. Hello. How about you tell us your name first? Um. Uh, Eloise uh, Tellner. I'm the ultimate fencer. I it's really nice to meet you all. Even if it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> really good voice acting. Well, I mean, everyone's had voice acting. Everyone has really good voice acting. So far. Ultimate Fencer was strange. That's strange. Someone who's prolific at fighting shouldn't have a reason to hide from people. Fencing won't do you much good in this world. In... Actually, I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's just move That's on. I'm probably not... wrong anyway. Actually, it doesn't focus much on courage as people think. Um... Um, the key to fencing is the ability to predict your opponent's moves, along with having the agility to avoid them. Acting brash may get you the first move, but it's steady and analytical mind that secures the win. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. Oh wow, the first character he's impressed by. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but get but but gut but gush. Honestly. Someone who has as awkward as interests as me finding somebody else who can even like entertain my interests is like extremely exciting. There aren't many people who serve my interests around where I live. Listen to me. But I have to ask, why are you hiding from us? She stood there quietly, deep in thought. Okay. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was or why I was kind here. Of like... There were several strangers around me, and they were all so panicked as well. I felt like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. Oh. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like it when people can see me like that. I can't even call my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. I understand. If, 
It's a uh, reassurance. It seems my friends are and I are in the same situation. Seriously. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear. And since when were we friends? Well. Was there anyone with you when you woke up? Mm. Yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went into flight mode. S sorry. So the girl is just as clueless as us, and it seems she also passed out on the train. Darn. What the what the ha is going on here? Uh, um... Um, were you the only people in that building, by the way? Mm -hmm. Miss Kira is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you like to, would you like to join? Maybe... I, I think I want to stay where I am. Very well. Very well. When I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. That way you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. Yeah, I'll wait here if that makes things easier for everyone. Many thanks. Many thanks, Miss Tuner. I still cannot pronounce any of these characters' last names. Compared to before, she looks a lot calmer. I think we know how to handle the situation pretty well. Or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. I guess it's admirable. Okay, dokey, time to news. Hello. Why, hello there. Who are you? A guy was leaning against the hedge with his hand in his pocket. Nice. Looks like you found some friends. Indeed. Indeed. Why don't you say hello? He looked at us and waved. I resisted, I resisted the urge to wave back. Pay attention! And you know manners? Talk to All them! Oh good. Alright, my bad. Fully amused, he stood up straight and faced us. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to act like a... Today's just been all over the place for me. Not an excuse, I know. <laughs> I suppose... I suppose I can forgive you. Would you give me... If you give us our, your name, easy, easy enough. Hmm. I'm, I'm Desmond the... Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. Sweet. Okay, Hall. Hall. There's one last name I'll be able to pronounce. Hear me out. A marksman, eh? That must have. That must mean you're really good at shooting stuff, right? right. That's right. I have a really good eye for my targets. Guns, bows, slingshots, you name it, I've hit bullseyes with it. Hold on. With all those weapons, I must ask, you haven't killed anyone, have you? Whoa! Whoa, never. I realize my talent may move some people on edge, but I only practice on stationary targets. Moon targets are really outside my comfort zone. Believe me. Believe me, I've never taken a human life. I see. Such a serious question. I composed him. He composed himself pretty quickly. Guess the guy knows how to keep so... cool. So, so where's your pa Where's your partner? We all had one, to my knowledge. Hmm. Oh, you mean that pirate guy? He was well. <laughs> he was fine, almost for the most part. Just a little too extreme for me to be around. In situations like this, I prefer to keep to myself. I know. What I know that sounds less cooperative, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Boy! Wait just You're a second. Right. Huh? You. You, did you just say pirate? Hmm. It sounds dumb, I know. I wouldn't buy it either if I hadn't spoken to the guy myself. <laughs> it's gotta be that one freaking dude on the train, right? The buff one with the dragon tattoo. Yep, yep that's your man. He went through the door over there, so... <laughs> ha! I gotta see him! Totally. You have fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little out there. By the way... By the way, Desmond, do you see that girl in the gray uniform over there? I told her I'm going to bring everyone here. I think it's important we discuss the current situation as a group. Fair enough. Could you give her some company while I'm gone? Easy enough. Oh, sure thing. 
The others are an odd bunch, so good luck convincing them. They may act casual, but being the ultimate marksman must make, take a lot of diligence. Always keeping a steady hand, always thinking on your feet. There's probably a lot to learn from someone like that. Everyone else must be in the building up ahead. Perhaps they are discussing something. My, my. Let's head over there and find out, shall we? Yes, indeed. Can't imagine how long all this took to make. Is that real? Are those real PNGs of leaves and stuff? It looks like it. Still, though, it fits. It, it blends in really well. I really like how all of this stuff looks so far. It looks really, really good. Anyways, let's go see the rest of the cast, shall we? So far, the introductions are really unique. It's not just everyone stands in a room and you'll- Oh, never mind, here we go. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Hold, is that a tree? That thing has to be like 60 feet tall or something. <laughs> Wait, that looked like a door on that tree. Hold on. A sight of hope? That's not it. Let's not get too excited. It's only a tree. You did overreact a little, though. No. I'm not even sure we can say Could that. Could you explain? Because there's a door. Care to elaborate? I don't quite get what you mean. Eva bent down and crushed one of the fallen leaves in her hands. Uh, wrong voice, sorry. I didn't hear any crushing or Interesting. This is a fax tree. A food, a food. I don't know how to... Add one more up to the counter. Impossible. How could someone possibly manufacture a tree of this size? It's really pretty easy. Look at this. If it, if it's real, explain why these leaves don't make any noise when I break them. I've, I've seen many leaves that don't make noise when you break them. Real leaves, in fact. It's very non-satisfying. Sad. That expression said it all. Why the hell? The, the huge fake tree! Interesting indeed. It'd be hard to it'd be hard pressed to find a school with an installation like this. <sighs> it'd be hard to it'd, it'd be hard past to find it anywhere. I feel like you'd only see this in a museum or something. In any case. This building this building certainly has a strange aesthetic. That's one way to put it. The tree was in the center of the large circular room. Surrounding it were a bunch of people I recognized from the tree. These must be the others Yoshiko was talking about. Mm -hmm. Counting the two we just met, this is everyone correct? Indeed! Correct! What's wrong? Is something wrong? You see. If everyone from our train car is here, why are the other people who were on the train? Th that's... That's a good point. There were other people. I'm there. sure. Of course. The academies said they reserved that train for its students. <laughs> yeah, but did you actually say Let's one? See. I never left the car, but I know Miss Madison. Hey. Huh? I apologize. You mentioned leaving for the bathroom on that Oh, yeah. Getting callbacks already. I see, I see. Oh, right. I passed a bunch of students on my way to the crap, but I didn't talk to them, though. Strange. They had to have heart, heard a commotion in our car. Why didn't they help us? Maybe they were also knocked out. Anywho. I doubt it's something we can answer right now. Can I just introduce you to the others already? I understand. Yes, we should familiarize ourselves with the people who are currently here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Regardless, the whole thing was pretty baffling. If the other students on the train passed out, where are they now? And if that if they did pass out, why did they not help us escape our car? Also, do you see what I mean about there being a door on that tree? That is definitely a door. to meet all the characters. Let's talk to this dude. A boy was silently observing the space around him and 
jotting things down into a notebook. Hello? Hey, you. Ah, uh, he's sleeping. The hell? What? Uh, sorry, I, I dozed off. I dozed off for a bit. A there. cause for concern. You have terrible eye bags. Have you not been getting enough sleep? Mm. Uh, getting knocked out on the train was the most sleep I've gotten in a week. Thankfully, the little girl woke me up before I wasted too much time. <laughs> I'd know better. I wouldn't. I, if I'd known better, I wouldn't have. You terrible sleep schedule has diminished you were already meager natural beauty. The guy paused for a second, seconds, then began fiercely scribbling in his notebook. What are you doing? Excuse me. A very loud woman with a visor. Uh? Are you writing about mm -hmm. us? I make sure to recall all my daily happenings. There's no way I'd remember it all at once. In some fashion, no taking is just one of the many responsibilities. Uh, uh, my name is Ulysses Wilhelm, and I'm the ultimate <sighs> historian. Please make note of that for future reference. This name, I'm just going to call him Yuli. Okay, maybe I can pronounce it. I guess it's not that hard. If I remember Impressive. how to pronounce it by the time chapter one comes out. Interesting. A fellow scholar, much like Jeez. myself. Shouldn't an ultimate historian be good at memorizing stuff? Yes. Yes, I'm perfectly proficient at remembering historical facts. This notebook is just for more previous previous less information. Stuff like shopping list, classmate birthdays, when to brush my teeth. Filthy. Such excellent memory. You probably couldn't even remember the date of your wedding anniversary unless you wrote it down. Unfortunately. I think that's the same for most. So What do you do as an ultimate historian? As of now, I work at the Patawomic River Museum. And I'm not pronouncing that word. And so on and so on. I direct one of the exhibits there, the Cold War era. When I'm not giving tours, I'm studying primary source documents in my office. <laughs> no wonder you can't get any sleep. Stay awake while reading all those boring history books. There's definitely something wrong with you. How dare you scoff at somebody else's interests? There's reason for everyone, I'm aware, but it's important knowledge. In a bit, nevertheless, I know someone who very much likes history. He talks about it a lot. Anyways, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those who fail to learn history are doomed to sound stupid when arguing on the internet. So mostly everybody. Sorry. Including me sometimes. Or most of the time. That's if I ever actually talk on the internet at all. No. That's not how the saying goes. It isn't, but I updated it <laughs> to coincide with more modern values. Uh, I thought it was funny. Right. I thought it was funny too. Thank you for saying it. Humor is completely subjective. have begun gathering outside. See? Plans to discuss our next course of action. Could you please join them? Sleepy. Yes, right. Thank you, miss. Uh, uh he hurled he hurriedly fumbled through the pages of his notebook. Dude, I can't remember names for the life of me either. Sometimes I wish I could just have like see text boxes whenever anyone talks so I can read their name whenever I talk to them. Kaiura. Unacceptable! 
Did you seriously forget my name? Sorry, tell I wouldn't get along with this person. <laughs> or she wouldn't get along with me, at least. This is the most injurious offense. Take solace in the fact that I am a mere matchmaker and not your romantic According partner. to my notes... In a large world run by even larger ideas, small things can be easily overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> Fanning herself in indignantly, Toka Toshiko stormed <laughs> off. Should we follow yeah. her? Yeah, this guy we just met probably. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, influencer time. Sorry for hurting your feelings. <laughs> I'll give your content a try. Who knows? I might really like Man. it. Uh, if you don't like it from the start, you're never gonna like Hi. it. I gave him an accent. Wrong accent, I think. Hey, you two. Wait. Huh? Over here! Oh crap, new guy, over here. Huh? What? You boarded the train before things went all crazy, right? <laughs> Check it out, me and the new guy together again. Stop. Stop acting like we're friends. I don't even know you. You're just messing with me. Uh, uh, th that's a joke, right? What is? Y you know, the, the thing you just hey. said. Maybe you've heard my name before. Does K. Motego ring a bell? My, I don't know, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce any of these characters' names, I'm hey. sorry. Come on, Kai Montego, something of an artist, something of an entrepreneur. Very sorry, funny. Sorry, just flew in my face. He's an influencer, a really big influencer. <sighs> no, it doesn't ring a bell. Ouch, where did you go? I I thought I already lost all faith in humanity before coming to this dump, but... <laughs> oh no, he's crying. Oh no. He's gonna make an apology video. <laughs> you don't recognize the... must be nice. Huh? Yes. Guys, this... Guys, the cancer of the internet. You disagree with him on one thing, and he'll sick and zombie of underage followers on you. <laughs> He's a dictator with a trendy face. Uh, another day, dictator. another drama. Dictator, she's. Naysayers types are always so over dramatic. Whatever. Don't listen to her, new guy. This chick's just recycling other people's propaganda. Are you done yet? You're one to talk. Check yourself in the mirror before crying propaganda. Uh, uh, see that? Yeah, uh huh? I see you're no stranger to photo editing. I'm kinda impressed no one would ever guess you had the face of a horse. Oh. Play so mean to this. This guy's done nothing to you. He's probably one of the nicer people here, and he's getting bullied immediately. Well, first impressions at least. We'll see how it goes. And the tears return as quickly as they vanished. I'm not sure what I expected an influencer to be like in person, but this was definitely Don't not be it. mean! Hey, leave Kai alone. Thank you. You may not be the nicest person in the room, but can you see him hurting his feet? He could get over it. Anyway. Anyway, what about you? Hmm? hmm? <coughs> Can you give me your name and talent? Oh. Oh, sure. I'm Diana Venesia, your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover, I'll work my magic. <laughs> Just ask. Diana Venesia. I pronounced it. Diana Vin... Excuse me. Diana Venicia, or something like that. Come again? Is that you? You're just a makeup artist. For your information, 
animation. Not just a makeup artist. The makeup artist. Indeed. What? Diana is the biggest beautician in Hollywood. She's relatively new to the public sphere, but world, but word of her talent has been dominating the social media. Enough to pique the interest of the entertainment elite. <laughs> oh ho ho! Now every A-list celebrity is scrambling to hire her. What? I see. This is not your first time talking about hmm. her. I am simply quoting my friends. They are all on Diana's wish list. I'm sure. I'm sure. I anybody? But why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognize her? What about me? How humiliating. Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't the demographic for people like you largely teenagers? Hell no! My stuff is for everyone. I'm inclusive like that. Hold on. Okay, that's it. Let's break this up. Diana, could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone together. No worries. All right, see you later. <laughs> but none of those guys like me either. Needs validation. I can feel that, honestly. A makeup artist and an influencer. Were this any other academy, I wouldn't bet my ultimate talent program is a shell of itself. It will hand out ultimate titles to anyone who asks. But Eden's Garden Academy said it was above that. It said it prioritized academic talent. And now, it thinks I'm on par with those two? Ego. Hey, influencers are taking over the world, so... Come on, man, just say something. Come on, please. Pretty please. So harsh. So harsh. All I wanted was your name. Hi. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh. The figures. Oh, it's more people. That's a slip and a slide in. Hey there. Oi! What's the matter with him? <sighs> uh, I don't know. I've spent ages trying to get this guy's name, uh. but... He won't say anything. It's simple. If he's being a weirdo about it, just ignore him. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> My name's Jet Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. Nice to meet you, shrimp. Jet Dawson, Ultimate Drag Racer. Nice. Definitely the most unique. Probably mean he's not going to survive, unfortunately. No way, I'm supposed to getting, be attached to these characters. Man, I love all these characters. No one's gonna die. It's gonna be great. Everyone's just gonna have a great time in this game. Choose any favorite character you want, because I'm sure they'll all be exactly the same at the end of the game. They won't be dead at all. Drag racer. Given his outfit, that comes as no surprise. Aren't you warm in that suit? <laughs> he just brought out the Scooby Doo laugh. Are you confused? I said, I'm calling this guy Scooby Doo. He, he just pulled out the. There's a fan inside the back of my helmet. Kind of like the thing in the car seat, that's cool. Let's rock and roll! But... Isn't that super rad? But the way he yells every word, can make anything sound like a big deal. Yeah. The only issue is that I don't extend to the rest of my suit. That they don't extend Get a grip! Stop wearing the suit! Uh -huh. And walk around me! Men wear different clothes. So you should also have an ultimate talent. Well, would you mind sharing it? My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. So a music producer? Yeah. Mark. 
music producer. It's nothing. But, um, it's mostly bad remixes and stuff. Mommy! No, man, your music is wicked good. Really? You know my Not songs? A nope. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even have to? You're the ultimate music producer. That just says, that's just about says it all. Moving on. I assume you two also woke up in the same, in this place, right? Do you have any idea what might be going on? Yeah, yeah this whole, uh, this whole place did come out of the room, but... Let me think. To be honest, it feels like a, like, uh, it feels like a lot like an, an extreme haunt. Do you know what that is? No, I it don't. Figures. Figures. You don't look the Hey. Meaning? You fallen? Anyway, extreme hunts are really intense horror attractions. Think a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. Oh boy. Stuff will chuck you into an underground tunnel system, trap you in coffins, anything to scare you. I'm pretty good with the coffins, not so much with the tunnels. That's not important. What's this got to do with Catch us? my drift? You see, there's a couple places that I know for starting this hunts with a simulated eh? kidnapping. Yeah? For real? To make it feel as real as possible, they'll even take you when you least expect it. The thing, it, the thing is, they can't just jump anybody. You gotta consent first. Uh huh? I, I'd never agree to being Come kidnapped. Off the grass. Extreme haunts, eh? Huh? People know better than to involve me in that crap. Well? Maybe we consented to our kidnapping without realizing? Eh? Huh? For example, the letter we received from the Academy. Is it possible that the invitations were actually consent forms in disguise? Really? Oh boy, it's your turn to die, flashbacks. Don't tell me. You actually believe this guy? Correct. Given what we've seen so far, I wager you that anything is possible. Is that really what's happening here? And accepting that letter asking me to join you in Scotland Garden Academy? Did I unknowingly read yeah. this crap? Well, that's just a theory. We won't know what's going on until we explore some more. In any case... I know some people who might be interested in your theory. They're gathered by the courtyard outside. You can join them when you want. Adios! Reports. Sure thing. Let's go, Mark. Though he looked less than enthused, he let the drag racer take him by the arm and let him, him away. Could it really be possible? Were the letters we received actually consent forms in disguise? Is this some kind of messed up attraction? A leaf has fallen on my face again. What does this say about Eden's Garden Academy? Is this a part of the journey? Is Eden's Garden Academy even real? I should know better than to think nonsense things like that. If the Academy was fake, someone would have already blown its cover. It's more likely that this is happening unbeknownst to the Academy. Alright, next person. This is the ultimate pro gamer, I think I remember. Yo! I'm Cassidy Amber, the ultimate pro gamer. Don't forget it, Kay. Alright. Instant introduction. Cassidy Amber. Yeah, that's the name I can actually pronounce. Very nice. Jumping right into the introduction. I like it. <laughs> yep. Making a good first impression is the key to grabbing the attention of your viewers. Especially if you have over 20 million of them. Gotta earn that watch time. Hmm. So, I guess this girl and the ultimate, uh, uh, Kai, the influencer, are going to have some things in common. Is that really true? 20 million? Is gaming really that popular? Oh, trust me. It's definitely climbing the ladders of popularity. It's not just gaming, it's pro gaming. Yo! <laughs> Facing off against opponents in the front of a large audience with prestige and prizes on the line, the stakes can't get any higher. While her talent is pretty fabulous, her attitude towards video games competitions is somewhat impressive. It's sort of like how I feel about the game. Question. Oh, question. Hello? What is. Hmm. Do you, do you guys know if this place is an internet? Uh, 
I promised my comrades my streaming schedule wouldn't change after starting school, so I'm kind of freaking Come out. again? Your comrades? Hey, hey! Cassidy comrades, they're the biggest fan community on the internet. She must mean her followers, being a streamer and all. It would definitely explain I'm that. Curious. You must be very wealthy then. I've heard the popular streamers earn a lot of money, especially from subscriber donations. Indeed! Ah, there are many stories about young men falling prey to the infamous Tyrid subscription. They are ren rendered forever unmarried. <laughs> such a shame. <laughs> so, how many Zakas have you swindled with such a large fan base? You must be ranking in the dough. Huh? The hell? What's wrong with your face? I see how it is. You think the only motivation is money, don't you? Hey? Well, duh, why else would you be a streamer? Don't you see scum? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I stream for the betterment of the human race. Yes. As the leader of Cassidy's comrades, it's my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. You mean you give away all your money? Yep. I do tons of expensive and gen generous stunts on my channel. Most of it's for charity, but sometimes it's for random subscribers. <laughs> One time is I brought a spaghetti factory and donated it to a public school. <laughs> Dude, it, it's like the Mr. Beast of Damien Rampa. Those kids will, will never have to pay for lunch again. They're probably got a sick, got gotten sick of eating pasta. You're right. right. <laughs> All of these giveaways are streamed too. They're they're really popular, so I get tons of views and donations from them. Impressive. Impressive. You've managed to comment, commodify the act of charity. You can operate. Of course, I gotta reserve some money for basic necessities. Truckload of chocolate soda being one. Duh! But it's not a problem for a person like me to have money since I earn it through all my hard work. So unfair! The real problem are the people who make billions every year, even though all they do is sit around, drink, drink, and stare at their stock. Bourgeoisie oh, scum! In fact, I can even detect a rancid stench of a morally bankrupt millionaire in this very academy. Planning to profit off of our suffering as we speak. This girl is honestly pretty deranged, though that might not be why she has such a large audience. Regardless, it doesn't explain why everyone like her was invited to be part of the As wary as the of the future of com confrontations between you and the more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building. I investigated. We've been tailing other people together. Okay. Alright, as yeah, I need y'all. Okay. Uh, to go, it seems. Hello. Oof. Oof, so you got caught up in this too, did you? I remember seeing the five of you on the train. You're really ultimate students, huh? Uh, we wouldn't have been on this train if we weren't. <laughs> Just making sure. I know the education sector had a low standards, but are we just hanging out, handing out titles to anyone who asks? Jeez. What? The huh is your damage? Didn't you just get over talking about how much you were wondering how such like non-important, talented people were getting into the school, and now you're saying that this person is wrong for doing so? <laughs> That's it. What's the matter? <laughs> I know this. Uh. As in personality? Nah, she's the parlor that's been ruining the magazines. <laughs> Ever since that interview with Rich People's Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. The youngest ever self-made billionaire, pioneer of architectural industry. Yeah. Did I hear that right? This girl we're talking to, is she actually? <laughs> I'm flattered you recognize my, memorize my huh? resume. Huh? resume? So, those things she said weren't an exaggeration? If I may ask. This is news to you, anyway. 
anyone who is anyone knows about Winona? Win Winona? Winona? That would be my name, yes. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. No wonder she gave off such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. Still, that doesn't mean I'm going to let her talk me down. Hmm. <sighs> she looks talent. She has looks talent and wealth. She would be truly a sum. A sumptuous man. Interesting. Why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? Mm. I thought it would be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. Nasty. Now that I'm aware of the life admission and admission, admissions proceeds, I'm leaving the first chance I get. And not much because you're and not because you've been kidnapped. <laughs> I can't believe destiny has decreed that I must guide you towards the most wondrous no. romance. Um, I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial re reparations from the academy. <laughs> at, at the very least, let me be your steed. With my divine foresight, I shall lead you to legal battle. I shall lead your legal battle to victory. After I fall asleep in that co train car, someone must have carried me out. Next to the tree. Why did no one stop them? Were well, there are no precautions in place to stop someone from landing in the tree? I'd say it was extreme and ineptitude on the school's end, but since it appears I'm not the only victim. What a joke! Well, that makes things all the more sinister. So she thinks someone carried her here. It's plausible, I guess they could have transported us from the train by the eagle. They carried her. When you woke up, was there anyone with you? Honestly? Yup, but she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> You're the one staring at You the see? We know about as much as you do. The five of us must have been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. Let's see. The rest of them are a congregation. Are congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe we'll be able to figure out what's going on. By the on. way... Say, why don't you join them? <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that offer. Such a relief that one of you actually had something useful to say. That that girl is a piece of work, but given the recent happening, she's not worth this time. I accidentally skipped that, sorry. More importantly, what's happening to us? It's too much for the single pair of hands. Someone had to sneak on to so maybe hijack the train? A chemical agent and then carry the one that knocked, they knocked out. There's got to be more than one person behind this. A group, maybe. The question becomes who and why. All right, one more. Hello. Golly. What's this? More friends? Stop. Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or tell. Wait, yet. just a sec. Then let me tell you. Hi, my name is Ingrid Grimwall, and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. <laughs> I already, I already forgot the name. A real blacksmith, eh? Is it anything like how movies depict it? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords. But tools, armor, statues, if you can name it, I can forge mm -hmm. it. It's never been easy undertaking, I will admit. Sprained muscles are par for the course, but the same while climbing a mountain as painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. The struggling is worth it for the Tee <laughs> No wonder she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like non-stop high intensity so... exercise. So, how has your kind not gone extinct? Oh. Uh, ah, extinct? Made rebundant by technology. Can't you see? Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without overworking yourself? Well, I, I don't like to Against admit it. Against modern machines, it's true. I'm not an equal <laughs> Because I think I'm better than them. 
those hunks of metal may look cool, but their creations lack the human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when the truly amazing things now happen. Now would you look at that? When my creations touches the heart. It's better than anything made by the machines. Im imperfections be darned. My, my. Ooh. I like that philosophy. It's honestly scary. Like, if... I've heard that AI is starting to become, be able to do more and more things. And it's kind of scary how good they're starting to be at it. Like, I don't know if any of y'all seen some of these, like, AI written the story of so-and-so. And right now, they're really silly and dumb. But it's learning. And one day, these AI stories may not be so silly and dumb, it might actually start being pretty good and well written. And that's kind of scary, because you could take writers' jobs and stuff, or at least that would be it, but... And AI is even starting to learn how to do art and other things, and eventually it's just going to be able to replace mostly everything, but who cares? If you have passion for something, do it anyway. Like, AI might be able to be as good as us eventually, but I doubt it'll truly be able to outdo us in every aspect. Besides, knowing that it was made by someone and not a machine, it just feels a lot more special and meaningful. But it is scary how good AI is becoming at these things that people do. Better than machines, huh? People have always told me my skills were impressive, but I've yet to be compared to a computer or something. How come a blacksmith can receive that sort of acclaim? Could you explain? There's always been a demand for human things, especially nowadays. Does your audience feel older by chance? Old folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin. These are all people who visit me. Wowie! It's great when I can relate to most of my clients. Nix, excitement is mine. Exactly, exactly which clients does she Moving on. In any case, are you the same as us? Were you also kidnapped on the train and taken here? Oh. oh, I wouldn't say kidnapped. Come again. What? Did you not black out on the uh. train? Eh? No, I did. Well? Then how else would you describe the situation? Hmm, maybe a surprise exclusion? Hiya! Better yet, a surprise exam! The people who are running this program are just putting our abilities to the test. Take this seriously. That's stupid. If this academy was that unhinged, no one would continue. Let's get going! Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism isn't a substitute for reason. By the way... By the way, there's a gathering happening outside the building. Miss Ka Kayura explored. Would you like to join? We'd like to discuss some very important matters. No! Nah, aren't you nice? I mean, yeah, he is. He's probably one of the nicer people here that I've seen. I'll get right to it. Don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Uh, okay, I forgot that this guy was here. I just remembered while talking to her. Alright, this should be the last person. Glad to see you're alright, kid. Hmm, of course I'm alright. You gave everyone a scare running away like that. I really thought you knew we could catch you, but... <laughs> well, fortunate, the door came equipped with a lock. <sighs> oh, she just locked everyone out, didn't she? See? However, it was all worth it. Look at these people like a friend and during my explosion. I hear you. No, I'll give you credit with them too. You came back with plenty of spoils. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you! Oi, I want to talk for a uh -huh. second. Huh? You're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timber as a hoy matey, that kind of pirate, right? Pirate? Yeah. Hey? Hey? I'm not a pirate, I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference. Huh? A ship I'm captain? talking. You don't need to be so loud. She was just asking a question. Just a question? Huh! 
Huh, for guys like me, that pyro nonsense is a tired stare. Watch it. Pirates live off stealing and causing trouble. We ship captains are nothing like those low lives. Jeez. If you're not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Uh -huh. Do these look like the clothes of a pirate to you? <laughs> Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. <sighs> Please don't. Making enemies, yay. It's probably best that you just them, though. I take it he's dealt with our kind before. To my mistake. I never like to soil with you. Sorry. Sorry for this. Anyway. Okay, whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I wanted to get more out of him. I never pictured a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Garden Academy, especially not someone like this. That's guy. right. Mm, that's right. <laughs> I know the sea is like to back off. Back up my hand. Every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. <laughs> I'm I am the seas. king of the seas! Oh. Hero of the storms, I am John de la Mer. John de la Mer. John de la Mer. Puppet ship captain. King of the seas, hero of the storms. Do people actually call him that, or did he just come up with those names? Himself? Is that really true? You know every river and waterway. Is that really oh. true? Yup, I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere. Green who has. According to the stingy little things called Border Patrol, that's known as some parts of trespassing. <laughs> I may be king of seas, but I'm not above the law. <laughs> mm. I suppose that's a good... that's good enough. I see. Either way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, we're nowhere near the ocean. Leave it to me! Fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to the unexpected. You lads can trust me. I will protect you as if you were my own crew. What now? Protect. Protect us from uh. what? I suppose from whoever put us... Put these wrists or watches on us. Then again, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place apart from How's us. How's that so? So that means our only obstacle in finding an escape, not too big a, of an, an, an ask, eh? Uh, I'll add it to the camera. All we need to do is find where we in, entered, then voila, sweet freedom. For such a simple conclusion, he sure was making a big deal out of By it. By the way... I may be interested to know that the people are gathering outside the building, Miss Carrier Explorer. I want everyone to, together to go so we can discuss what to do next. Like good to, join to know! Them? Always good to keep people on the same wavelength. See you there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a... not at all what I expected. Funny, he was every bit as dumb as he as his appearance. How was he... How are you getting the... that he was really nice? someone like him? Hmm. Well done. We've exchanged formalities with everyone here. We should meet up with the others and formulate a plan of action. I am an ultimate! On our honor of ultimates, we will not be confined by any longer. What a dramatic kid. The others should be gathered by the courtyard outside. What's wrong? That's where I should go ahead next. I cannot talk. The other eleven students gathered in the center of the courtyard, nervously discussing the any situation. Any clue? So, uh, any clue what's going on what here? What if... We're being pranked, 100%. Oh. This would be really elaborate. No, seriously. Some people have money for it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm killing the one who's responsible. Unsurprisingly, they didn't seem to be getting Excuse me. This is off topic, but I don't believe I ever asked your name. Remember the name. It's Grace. Mm -hmm. And your mm -hmm. surname is <laughs> Medicine. Grace Medicine, the ultimate god. Hey. Hey. How did you know that? My my. You said it in that dining hall. Right? That's problematic. I don't recall you being there for the instructions. However, maybe she was eavesdropping. I would never. 
eavesdropping. I would never. <laughs> so I happen to overhear your conversation is all. In other words, she was eavesdropping. Exactly. Hey, if we could take a step back for a second, what was this about dying? Correct. It's inside the building over there. Huh? Is there a kitchen too? Man. They got anything low cough, Cal? I'm starving. Pay attention! Be patient, will you? Introductions are still underway. Yeah. Okay, but you have the speed run. Oh, man! Gaming references from someone else? The universe has been thrown out of the balance. <laughs> Along with Grace Madison, we have the mighty prestige Wolfgang Akai. Akri. 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 Ak uh, can't talk. Forget it. I'm just... Uh, no, no, it's just not working. He's... He's well known as the ultimate Hello. lawyer. Yes, that's correct. Hey, hey! Oh, hey, hey, lawyer man. L lawyer man? Is that your name for me? Yep. It's either that or Wolfie. Do you like Wolfie more? I, I must decline. S stay with what you already have. Hi! A lawyer, wow, it's nice to meet you. Yep, next we have... Um... Toshiko turned and squinted at me. Hmm, his name seems to be escaping me. Perhaps you might know Wolfgang Grace? I'm not too familiar. I have no <laughs> idea. I know his name. If I know his Risky. name... He told me, I'm pretty sure it's Mark, right? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I've got a habit of mixing these sort of guys together. Boy! Boy, what are you waiting for? Tell us your name already. <coughs> Damon Mitsu, the ultimate debater. A debater? A debater. I can tell that the lawyer and debater are probably going to be arguing a lot in this game. Something just kind of makes it feel that way. <gasps> so, like a bargain bin boy? Hey. <laughs> that's... Come on, darling, you can do it. See? Yes, share your name. Eva. Oof. Just Eva? <laughs> Just like my video games. <laughs> like the spy? Eva Chitsuna. Mm -hmm. That's a very pretty name. Now, would you look at mm -hmm. that? Fit and elegant, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but let's not get off topic. What's your talent, Eva? That's... Now that she's mentioned it. Pretty sure she never told me her talent. What's up with that? I told you mine. It's only fair that you tell me yours. <laughs> Ultimate liar. <laughs> well, this is probably going to be the the traditional <sighs> trial messer upper of the group. But she seems nice, which is definitely throwing a curveball in there. Ultimate liar? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So, like, what's your actual talent? Deal with it. That's it. Uh. What? Good to know! Didn't know lying was something you could be the best at. You learn something new every day. Are you for real? You actually believe her. How is someone supposed to make a out of lying. Now, now. Easy, get a job in marketing. It's <laughs> the truth. It's just what I am. How can that be? Is that supposed to be your explanation? But... But that's... I mean, if you're the best at lying, how are we supposed to believe anything you say? As he spouted those last few words, we all turned to Eva expectantly. That was when it happened. Uh-oh. Ding dong. Bing bong! Testing, testing. One, two, three. Can everyone hear me? Yes? Great! <clears throat> Good morning, my amicable student friends. First off, allow me to apologize. I realize the ride here was a bumpy one, especially for ultimates such as yourselves. But expect things to be different within these halls. Yes, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to Eden's Garden Academy. 
May this be the beginning of a wondrous journey. Doubt it. Did he just say we're at Eden's Garden Academy? Alright, it's time to meet the Monokuma character of this game. I heard that this game actually has no t canonical ties into the actual Danganronpa lore. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of lore it brings no. in itself. We can't be... You think? No kidding, this place looks nothing like Stop a school. Stop talking so loud. I want to hear this. I'm sure you're on the edge of your seats waiting for a proper orientation. But there's one more thing to do before we can meet face to face. It won't take very long, all I ask is that you enter the building across from me. From there, we can begin preparations for a formal introduction. Until then, farewell. I must take note of this. That was certainly... Whack! Couldn't agree more, Whack. Somebody explain. Did you think she's the person that brought us here? You fallen? Yo, what if she's... What if he set up the sleeping gas on the train? A bit complicated. In that travel bag? How do you reckon she snuck it on? Guys. Sorry to interrupt, but we're not going to skip that part he said about the building, are we? <laughs> he wants us to go inside. What do you think? What do you think? Should we? Hell no! No, no, lots of right in right in there just for me to die or something <gasps> to die you think we're going to be hard hold on if our captors had wanted to kill us we'd already be dead what would it be the point of killing us now <sighs> you poor innocent fool. i'm not gonna call you fool that's rude but you poor innocent amazing person <laughs> Reactions, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a psycho psychopath. How should I put it? If it calls for it, what if we walk in together as one big group? You know, how someone is looking out for you, things can be a uh. scary. Aye, she's got a point. The only way we can progress is if we face the problem. Soybean! Is he a said and done, Soybean? <laughs> I suppose that makes sense, but isn't it too naive? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of optimism from time to time. Let's just hurry it up, okay? All right. We gathered around the entrance, none of us willing to be the first to walk through. Eventually, I mustered enough willpower to push the doors open. <laughs> Loading. All right, so far... Oh, never mind. Oh crap, what's going on? Oh crap! That was fast! Oh no! Not, not my favorite character! <laughs> she was the best one here! Oh boy, so death already, huh? In front of me lay a battered bloody body of a young woman. <laughs> appropriate reaction. Usually the Digging Rock series doesn't have the most appropriate reactions. This is definitely step up. <laughs> what? Is that girl dead? <laughs> Why is that dead body? What happened? There's no way. Is this another student? Holy! Uh, what? Wh what the? Um. Um. Dining hall people, you were in this building before us. Tell us what's going on. Dude! Yeah. Why didn't we mention this other girl? The hell? I never even saw her. Really? Huh? You were there too. But you were there too, Bargain Then. Don't even. 
<laughs> There's a floor below us. That's where I woke up. Very funny. And you missed the whole person? Yeah, right. Hell no! I'm sorry. I gotta turn this music down. Now you gotta... Sar, you must have seen her. Come on, just admit it. <laughs> Stop pressing me for an answer, you. Hold on. I can cor corroborate Damon's story. There was never a body. Miss Madison and I walked through the exact hallway and saw nothing. I, I wasn't expecting so, this. Between the time you left and the time you returned, this girl was murdered. <laughs> you think she was murdered? Well, well, I don't know for sure, but what happened to her? Does that really look self-inflicted? Oh, shit! So there's a killer running loose? <laughs> uh, um, uh... But I don't recall hearing anything when I was waiting outside. Desmond, can you back me up? You can back me up, shit. right? Shit. She's right. There was no screams and no one left the building. <laughs> so the killer's still inside? <laughs> <laughs> Shouts filled the corridor with a silent walk over the body. Boy, Boy what are you doing? The morning raised the question and crashed down beside the other girl and poked her in the face. What the? What the? You? What's wrong with you? Stop that! Strange. It's not real. Oh, okay. Eh? Eh? That this girl. Mm. She's just a dummy. Oh, okay. So, get pranked. Hey, wait, you're a dummy. Return to die? So it was a murder, actually, anyway. How? Nuh-uh, that's definitely a real you're body. You're crazy! Didn't you just say you were a liar? Why would should we believe it's you? It's the truth. If you don't believe me, inspect it yourself. <sighs> no one else is offering, I can do it. Wait. Are we ready? Well, what does that sound for everyone? I turn to look at us each. I had my reservations, but when his gaze met mine, my lips instantly sealed shut. The look he gave me was unexpectedly intense. Okay. Yes, you can do it. Pirate casually approached the body and knelt beside it. Then just like Eva. I'll be damned! Would you look at that? She's right. It is a dummy. For real? No, it's we just we just got over this. It's not real. Say what? How did she know it was a? You fake? see, my intuition also also a corpse would smell. This doesn't smell. Dude, no! As if could you be any more suspect? That ain't it. Not just that. There's something under the dummy. Huh? Well, what is it? A tablet. Jean rose from the ground and turned around to face us. Sure enough, he was holding the tablet. It was slid under the dummy. There's no blood on it as far as I can tell. Nice high in oh. Hey, wouldn't I wouldn't you have noticed if it was taken? And what that gives the impression I was supposed to dumb it. For real? Hey, what's going on? What's on the tablet? Let me turn it on. Oh boy. He pressed the button, then walked over and held the tablet out for us to see. Oh, it's loading something. After a few seconds of loading, the symbol vanished. In this, its place was a photo of a girl. Kara... Koskinen. Ultimate Teacher's Aid. Height 5'6", weight 112. Gender female, age 18. In its place was a photo of a girl. Wh what is... Wait, crap, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember who Eloise is. I can't remember people's names for the life of me. Uh... Over the table that hadn't finished loading. Just after the image. The victim is Kara Koskina, the ultimate teacher's aide. Cause of death. She was stabbed 28 times. I don't think I need to make the joke. I think you all already know what it is. In her toast, at least I think that's how the number it was. It wasn't a quote. 
times in her torso and died from the blood loss, the victim also suffered from clinical burns on her whole head. The most notable burns are to the eyes and scalp. Time of death unknown. She was stabbed in the torso 28 times. The oh, it's reading it out for me. Most notable burns on the death, blood loss, unknown. It reads like a body report. First a dead body that's revealed to be a dummy, now a body report? What is going on? Bzzz. took you long enough to find a tablet. <laughs> long, long ago, a, hin a, hin a heinous murder has c was committed, and the victim so happened to be the ultimate, much like yourselves. What? Before you perfect reckon reconstruction of the crime scene, as well as an effigy of the victim with the appropriate injuries, it would it was quite emotionally draining to craft that dummy. It served as a strong reminder of what was lost. She was such a nice girl, so much potential lost to violence. Oh, so this was an actual murder. Backstory time. This is gonna be like some poetic uh cause for why the killing game was created in the first place. Because this girl died a long time ago or something. I guess we'll see. What is this man playing at? Anyway, if you're responsible, to figure out the details of her death. Surrounding area, the murder weapon, how she reacted in the, her final moments, etc. Oh, but don't worry about finding the murderer's identity. He's already right in front of you. Huh? See that gray man on the tablet screen? Yup, that's your guy. Please investigate the crime scene and gather as many clues as you can. After a certain period of time, you will be asked to present your findings to me. Believe me, it's in your best interest to put your full effort into this. Have fun, everybody. Please. Not okay! I investigation? What? What? Back off! Enough of this already. I don't want any part in this. Stop telling me what to do. Grace grabbed a large chunk of the rock from the floor and ran over to the speaker, screaming an obs... See, an obscenity. She pulled her hands as far back as she could. Uh, oh no. Brutal! No way! Was that the watch? Trying to destroy private property? That's a zap. <gasps> Fuck you! No, oh, bro. No, no. I have to censor that. Holy! Is he for real? Is this a school really trying to make us solve an old murder? Don't say that! Hold on, guy. You guys. You can't just believe everything that strange man claims. I would Eden's Garden Academy, any academy for that matter, do something like this. I would have hoped to peak. Even if it tried to, the ultimate talent program would have stopped them. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate the school board executives. Money can get people's heads and make them take risks they shouldn't. This academy said it was unique. Maybe this is their version of an extreme example. What a joke! They're so obsessed with being different from them. Competition. They've forgotten what people are. <sighs> more like they've gotten without to be safe. What did you say? Would the UTP really be okay with this? Think about it this way. Seems pretty con counterintuitive. Everyone would want to be quiet. Everyone would want to quit with the enrollment after this. Uh, and Sue. I'm talking. If this is a work of a separate group, what are they using the Academy's name? Uh, Hmm. Well, what if they knew we had to board the train? They would explain why we passed out. They boarded the train before us and planted the bag with the There's guests. gotta be something. Because this happened on the train to the academy, they could claim they are the If academy. I may ask. Everyone keeps saying they. Isn't the speaker man who came That's access? not it. It's obviously it wasn't just them. Seizing a train, bringing 16 people to an unknown location, that takes a team to do. Of course, that raises another glaring question. Why us? Why have we been brought into this? Because... Is it because we're ultimates? It's because you're interesting characters, and this game wouldn't be as fun if it was just normal average day people. It's not like anyone specifically in detective work. It just doesn't add up. 
I'm going with them. Screw this. Kai took off and down the hallway like his life depended on it. He did better them than us. I don't know. I don't know about all this. Will that man really let us go? Stay calm. Him? We won't know if we continue standing around like this. For now, all we can do is take the risk and do as he says. He's right. I need to brace myself and follow the directions I've been given. <laughs> 